could the future of banking be bankless? It's a thought that might send shivers down the spine of traditional banking executives. But a report from the German Banking Industry Committee, representing over 1,700 banks, suggests it might be closer than we think. They've been exploring a new concept, a money token that allows companies to transfer funds directly from wallet to wallet, bypassing banks altogether. Yes, you heard that right. Yet, before we start writing the obituary for traditional banking, it's worth taking a closer look. This report isn't a surrender to the rising tide of decentralized finance. It's a blueprint for adaptation and survival. The narrative woven through the report is a fascinating one. It acknowledges that traditional forms of money and payment systems have reached their limit and that the shift towards peer-to-peer -to -peer and machine-to-machine -machine transactions is making banks less and less relevant. But instead of throwing in the towel, they're proposing an account-based system that mirrors existing deposits. This would allow them to make the most of the efficiencies offered by blockchain, while still keeping a firm hand on the reins of access and control. The report's rhetoric may sound familiar to Bitcoin enthusiasts. It echoes the sentiment of the Bitcoin white paper, which proposed peer-to-peer -peer payments without the need for a financial institution. But here's the twist. While the Bitcoin white paper dreamed of a world without banks, this report sees banks embracing the technology while maintaining control. The report also highlights the need for banks to stay competitive as central bank digital currencies become more common. The unrestricted introduction of retail CBECs could potentially cut banks out of the payments process. To counter this, the report suggests that adopting tokenized bank deposits could be a key strategy for banks. Meanwhile, as we grapple with the challenges of digital identity management, the report proposes a future where individuals control their data without the need for centralized platforms, like banks. This is in line with the EU's EIDAS 2.0 regulations, which now require private sectors, including banks, to accept these credentials. Interestingly, as decentralized identity solutions grow, the report suggests that banks' control over access through identity verification may shrink. To counter this, the report suggests a strategy where banks allow approved entities to engage in wallet-to-wallet -wallet payments, thus preserving their central role. This approach is in stark contrast to the ideals of decentralized finance. So, the million-dollar question remains. Can banks continue to hold on to their central role as the world shifts towards peer-to-peer -to -peer payments and self-sovereign identity? This report signals a willingness to change, but it's clear that the banks aren't quite ready to let go of their centralized control. The future of banking may be bankless, but it seems the banks are determined to be a part of it.